so happy to have you here. I'm Lisa Nicoletti with Bruce Allen. Um, I direct the Meadows Museum of Art, and we're delighted to have you here for the opening of three exhibits. And the first special thing tonight is to have a gallery talk by the artist of these beautiful paintings. And at 6.15, there's another gallery talk by our student curators of the hashtag exhibit upstairs. So I hope you'll head up there after this talk. Now, I'm going to introduce a person to introduce Marlene Yu to you, who knows her very well. Her name is Stephanie Lusk. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, my mom, Marlene Yu, she paints large steel pans of abstraction signature, 37 feet long, 18 feet high, very colorful, vibrant works. And she started the Rainforest Art Foundation to find other artists who want to express their love of nature through art. Not just painting, but also dance, sculpture, building design, poetry, photography. And so we brought the Rainforest Art Foundation from New York City to Shreveport. And then we've also built a museum in honor for life's work, the Marlene Yu Museum. What you're seeing tonight is really different from the rest of the Forces of uh, Nature series. This is Dream series is a uh, three-year time period in her uh, career of over 50 years, of uh, over 4,000 works, 35 plus series. A three-year time period where she has the female figure with the males surrounding, um, symbolizing the male. And, uh, uh, I organized seven exhibitions in honor of her 70th solo exhibition in her 77th year at seven local institutions. So this represents the fifth of the Lucky Sevens. Each show is a, it's, uh, has its own theme, and it's, so it's not a traveling exhibition. So what you're seeing tonight is going to be really different from what we have in store at the uh, at Sideport, Louisiana Science Center, the Melting Glacial Series, and also at Bossier Arts Council, the Crystal Reef Series. Um, be sure to uh, come downtown to check us out at Marlene U Museum and Rainforest Art Foundation. We're trying to increase um, the area's potential as an international destination. We want to uh, help our area retain uh, young talent to stay, play, and work here. And we just have a lot of fun loving on nature through art and hope to stimulate further preservation. Um, and. Uh, Tonight, after this event, we've got uh, putting the fun and fundraising. The Fundamental Society has a bourbon and chocolate tasting at Remington Suite Hotel's new bar at 8 p.m. We've got chocolate fondue, chocolate covered bacon, wild turkey drinks, and I uh, want to introduce my mom. Uh, she's very uh, shy here, um, and uh, I just I, I grew up with this work on the on the walls and the different series, like the cave garden, thought it was really creepy, it even took it for granted, and then through the years, um, worked with uh, international art publications, uh, Art Forum, Art News, Art America, and my mom's art in the different series, got to know it better, and through the years, now I'm like one of her biggest fans, so <laughs> directing the, uh, the two nonprofit art institutes out town, having a lot of fun, and very grateful to everyone in the community who's been so enthusiastic and supportive of, uh, of what we're doing. Um, helping out with uh, reviving the former YWCA building downtown. And um, I also, she's so shy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna uh, have Marlene come up here. She, after, after that, she will be available to sign uh, posters. Um, and also wanna let you guys know that um, for our grand opening, we featured 100 culinary, performing, literary, visual, local, international, professional, and emerging artists. And we have, um, it's Marlene's dream to make it a global movement. So we established New York City headquarters in Shreveport, and then expanding to Zurich and Frankfurt. It's been a really a labor of love in transforming a building in 10 years of decline in only 10 months. And we can't do it alone. We've done the completion of the first phase of construction, the main exhibition halls, and the gift shop. There's still the Miranda, the Sculpture Garden, Young Artist Gallery, the swimming pool, which we're trying to save as a climbing and whitewater training center. So increasing appreciation of nature through art, and that would be alpine and aquatic arts. Uh, as my husband and I, and we have a number of other people who are competitive whitewater characters, kayakers, and um, through outdoor skills development, want to increase appreciation of nature through art. Um, and 
There's also the second and third floors of the 41,000 square foot building. Um, we may clear some for uh, exhibition halls, keep some for offices, and then also artist studios. So um, like us on Facebook, sign our um, sign-in sheet in the front, uh, get LinkedIn so that um, you'll know of our future events. And um, again, um, as a nonprofit, uh, we we do uh, need help, so we actually have an anonymous donor who's willing to match up to $25,000 through March 20th. And we have a swipe card reader. You can go online. You can send a check in. Um, we, we need help. Any donation will help and be automatically doubled through March 20th. Um, and it would mean so much for us to continue our renovation of this building that is uh, really great for a community that's downtown. Again, thank you so much, and without further ado, Marlene Tang Yu. I'm good on my hands, but not here, but I tried. I hope you could give me some inspiration. That means if you could ask me questions, or give me some inspiration to say what I should say. But I think I'm the luckiest person, luckiest Case, I should say. And um, when I had a show last year in Taiwan, the, the, some kids asked me, which one is your masterpiece? They are 9 to 11 years old. So I said, my children. <laughs> but after that, I did great. Because how could they, 9 to 11 years old, how could they know what I mean? You know. So, so I think I got a masterpiece already. Can I my daughter? Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Give me inspiration. All this crazy artworks is not from myself. Some are classical ideas, like me, summer night dream. But I started to do this in 1984 because I saw some figures from my abstract painting when I do the dream, I mean, I mean, I, when I do the concept, uh, Here you. Con oh, I'm sorry. So from the abstract painting, you can sometimes by accident, you see some animals, female bodies, breast, or you see those figures coming out. That gave me inspiration to do the real, realistic uh, human body and uh, animal, animal symbolized men. All these animals, different characters, different men. Well, it's just the symbol. But you could use your imagination. Um, I try to do all the different animals, like wolf in Chinese. Bad guy is a wolf. <laughs> I don't know in Western. Yes. So in the, in your culture, in the Western culture, you frog is the prince, but for Chinese, it's the guy is not good enough. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's uh, interesting to make this. But after three years, I did this series. I felt woman's body is very limited. Someone said, why don't you play men? I think they are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's animal. It symbolize them is much better. <laughs> so um, Dream Series is only one of the 36 series. I had, this is a minor series for me, only three years ago. 84 to 86. But my major series is the forces of nature. Especially relate to, uh, reminds people of the environmental green movement in art. Uh, so uh, you're welcome to come to the museum uh, on the 